Hey guys, welcome back to 88-Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we're reviewing this PCIe 4 X1 adapter that I got off of AliExpress for about like $4 or something like that. Super cheap. Um, my motherboard only supports uh, the X1 slot on here only supports PCI 3. Doesn't matter though, since I had the slot open, I figured $4 might as well try it out and see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and install it in the PC build that I've that you guys have seen already um there's slots in here yeah there it is it did come with a bracket i'm um, gonna install that now too and i'm gonna get it up and running in the computer and see how well it works okay guys so we've got the bracket assembled this is also an aliexpress ssd that i just picked up i will be reviewing this in a separate video this is a one terabyte Gen 4, way too overpowered for this slot, but we're going to go ahead and test it out. So I'm just going to slot it into that bottom one here. There you go. Went in easy enough. And it's a success. Look, it popped up right away. This uh, lane on my motherboard will only support 3x1, so that's going to be a max 1,000 megabyte read and write. We're going to go ahead and test that, though. So we've finished the test, and we're looking at some pretty respectable numbers. So it didn't quite reach the 1,000 megabytes for a PCIe 3x1 slot, uh, but I think this may be due to the fact that it's sharing bandwidth with the, the chipset on the NVMe. Um, SSD that I have in there in in the slot two of the the motherboard. But anyway, as you can see here on uh, the theoretical, we're getting 819 and 804. The real world though is pretty much spot on, one megabyte, basically less than a megabyte uh, sh shy of the theoretical value. Keep in mind, we did run this at nine and 64 gigabytes, so it was stressed quite a bit there and we still got a really really good value so that's still faster than SATA uh, if you have a SATA connected SSD so it definitely makes it worth it but I'm curious to see how this will affect the speeds of my other NVMEs in here so I'll run a test on those but if we look over to the left here and we look at the uh, the sensors on this it looks like we had a max temperature of 43 degrees C that's pretty good. The AliExpress Fanjang hard drive that I picked up, the SSD, uh, does come with a, a thermal pad just to dissipate some heat. But we're at 100% there, so that's a that's a really good result. For the price I paid, I think it was like seven Australian dollars, including tax and delivery, which is about like four to five dollars US. That's a really good price for an expansion adapter. And then it's supposed to be rated PCI 4X1. Unfortunately, I can only test uh, up to the 3x speeds because my motherboard only supports that. But yeah, for $4 regardless, I think it's a really good buy. Hey guys, we're back. I actually just wanted to run a stress test on my second M.2 slot just to see if the speeds are still the same, especially with this expansion adapter I have for another SSD. And it is, at least on the M.2, the second slot on my motherboard for M.2, it's the same speeds as usual. We get in 1600, be read and write, or my King Spec SSD on that second slot, which is what it was before I plugged in the adapter. I'm also, I'm gonna run another test here and just see if the, my main drive, my Samsung uh, 980 Pro is the same speeds or not. So we'll check that out here too. All right guys, and we're back and with my main M.2 slot on this computer, we're still getting the max read and write speeds for my Samsung 980 Pro. So it's 7,000 and 5,000 on the read and write, which you can see here in that second line. Yeah, it doesn't look like the PCIe adapter is uh, diminishing the performance of either of my uh, motherboard's M.2 slots. That's good to know. Cool. Now that I have this PCI 4 by one lane M.2 adapter installed on this motherboard. I can now go ahead and swap out my drives and we're gonna go ahead and rotate my Fanjiang S791 terabyte into my Gen 4 M.2 slot on my motherboard so I can test to see if it does indeed reach its max speeds. It actually is rated to be even faster than the Samsung 980 Pro so I'm kind of excited to see if it keeps up with those claims at least. I'll leave a link here in the descriptions or maybe just on this video to that test if you are interested. Well, 
thank you for tuning in and hopefully I will catch you guys in the next one cheers okay guys so this is one annoying bit about this uh, AliExpress M.2 adapter for a PCIe X1 lane is it does have these LEDs whenever the uh, a hard drive is in use that just go off right now I'm running crystal disk mark on it and it's at the the read part of the test so it's doing this really annoying I think I might just remove the LEDs so that you don't have this going on it's like I have a police car in my PC